The stepfather of a three-year-old boy who died after being trapped in a washing machine denies the home was unhygienic and unfit for a child. Witnesses have told an inquest the boy would often be locked in his bedroom for hours. Lee Steele reports. Police say the Hilton home where Sean Murphy was living with his mum and stepdad was cluttered and filthy. Photos taken on the day Sean died show clothes, cigarette butts and other items covering the floor and couch. On his bedroom door, a rope, which witnesses say was used to tie it shut. The images were presented today at an inquest into the three-year-old's death. The coroner heard conflicting evidence about how the child was treated. Sean's stepfather, Craig Shepherd, says his ex-partner was loving and patient with her child. He says Sean loved to play hide-and-seek. A year before he died, he was photographed sitting in an old dryer. But a former friend of the couple painted a different picture this morning, saying Sean's mother was abusive towards him, would pick him up by one arm and throw him in the bedroom, then lock him in there all day. Sean's mother Kerry says on the day he died, she'd slept until 1.30 in the afternoon and woke to find him trapped in the washing machine. But at the inquest today, Craig Shepherd, who'd been at work, said she didn't often have naps or sleep in like that. And Craig Shepherd said the little boy would only ever play for an hour or two by himself. Sean's mother will give evidence on Friday. Lee Steele, Nine News.